Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to everybody's favorite red mage, episode number 46. I'm Nolfing Wei, and aka Spencer, and this is a five minute breakdown of a red Magic the Gathering card, their properties, missed opportunities, and honestly, what I just think, yeah? Uh, you can find me on twitch.com slash way for a $0 free experience. I'll show you how to get it done, okay? Today is the card from the set, Kamigawa Neon Destiny. Uh, it's Upriser Renegade. It's two mana, one red and a colorless for a 1-3 creature human samurai. It's an uncommon. Upriser Renegade gets plus two, plus zero for each other modified creature you control. And to update you on modifications, it's equipment, auras you control, and counters are modifications. So anytime you add silly stuff to your to your creature, it modifies your creature. It's considered a modified creature. Okay, so modifications. All right. So uh, two mana for one three. That's cool. It's all right. It stops a grizzly bear. Um, can it get poked off by a bolt? Sure. So in standard, the the, the burn spell of choice, the removal spell of choice is uh, is also one red mana. So this, oh no, it, it's one red mana. So this can kind of avoid that. Uh, this gets pretty bad in uh, other formats. Uh, two two uh, creature types is really good. Uh, a lot of people kind of devalue the creature type right there in the center you know that human samurai that means you could put this in human decks samurai decks a lot of the decks that have ninjutsu just in case you were doing ninjas or samurais or something like that but that'd be kind of cool uh humans is always a creature type that's pretty important outside of red you got the white going on but let's go ahead and dive a little deeper into the ability so we have ourselves plus two plus oh for each other modified creature control so this guy gets a benefit from everybody else being modified so if you had per se uh tokens that got modification they come into play they get a counter or they you have you know equipment like super silly equipment that can help modify or they come into play there's a lot of equipment now right that come into play and they they happen to uh be attached to equipment or a lot of other creatures that would come into play or a lot of those germs in the older formats that uh, the germs would come in right you play an equipment it's attached to a germ that's technically a modification right based on this definition here so this can make your upriser a little bit stronger I, I can i can kind of feel that this can be an okay card uh but you would have to play around it it seems kind of awkward uh since the card kind of doesn't do anything especially if you just played it right like remember i'm always going to have this from a mono red aggro standpoint so turn two if I play this guy, he does nothing except for block and maybe absorb a bolt. Now, he starts getting really, really cute when my turn one guy gets strapped to something amazing. But if not, then he sits around doing nothing. Uh, in the format, there's a lot of other cards that get to beef up. They have a lot of equipment. A lot of silly equipment, you know, a rabbit battery and all those little ones that can attach to stuff, right? Like, that's cute and that's fun. Also, you have a lot of the more silly modifications in different colors. You know, you have green to give counters. You have white to give counters, especially the human white decks that every turn you start getting counters, life gain decks, and all that, uh, all that stuff. So this guy can be a player if you revolve the deck around, you know, modifications. But then you have yourself a two-mana dead slot when you'd rather play a better creature that had a better ability, considering that this one does other modified creatures and doesn't really help your team it helps himself it's pretty good in the short term not very good in the long term doesn't help the gang but it does help uh break a little bit uh, of the attack phase just in case you did modify something else this guy does get plus two plus so right it, it helps right a little pump a little boost and if you had any other opportunity to pump up your little guys this guy can get an extra pump up up there right so it could be kind of cool i think this only checks i think st st state based effects only checks this one time so if your modified creature gets another another modification it doesn't add to this so that's kind of a downside right like i don't right like if you had if your creature had a counter had another counter on it this only got plus two plus a one time so that could be kind of a downside just in case you're you're targeting you don't want to target you know the same guy twice you, you could target a second token or a second creature beef that guy up but i don't know 
am I wrong here? Is this guy better than I than I explained? You tell me, right? Thank you for your time. How about you tell me what you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What am I missing that you see? All right, let me know with a comment down below, a message on YouTube, Instagram, the podcast, or twitch.com slash way. Lastly, what other card should I review? Huh? You decide. Let me know. Episode number 46 in the books. Peace.